So this, this thing on the wall behind me is a rubber floor pad, like for the tub so nobody slips in the tub. However, for the last, I don't know how many weeks, it's been living on the wall because I take it that the other members of the household don't like it. Um, <clears throat> and it's gotten me to think about stuff and the accumulation of stuff and needs versus wants or wants versus needs. Is that the same thing? I don't know. And of course, because ow, I'm sitting cross-legged in the tub, because um, we're in that season, um, it's just causing me to think really carefully and, and hopefully to encourage my family to think, even though I've been at them for lots and lots of years, about the accumulation of stuff. Um, I was really, you know, I'm at that funny place where I don't buy a lot of stuff for anybody for the holidays, for Christmas or Yule or winter season. Um, but I, you know, this year I bought a game for us to share and I bought a tool set for um, my sweetheart and um, Okay, so what I'm trying to say here is that I had really hoped by this time in my world that I'd be in a place where I could say, let's go somewhere for the holidays or let's do, you know, let's, let's whatever, travel or go somewhere for the holidays. And I'm in that funny spot where, you know what, I, it's, it's not like I ever spent a lot of money on the holidays anyway. I got everybody, um, I let everybody know in my extended family that like it just wasn't possible to, to go crazy. And I don't go crazy with the children. I've been more creative than, you know, spendy. And that took some education on their part when they hit those hard ages when there was gadgets and crap to be had. Anyway, um, this, I think this Christmas... You know, I asked the youngest, what do you want to do? And what came out was, you know, that they would like to spend the time doing things together, which is a first. And I felt like there was a victory in that. We're going to watch movies and we're going to make cookies and we're going to decorate and we're, you know, we're going to play games together. It wasn't a whole lot of, I want this, I want this, I want this. Ow. So... That feels like a win in itself, and I, you know, unfortunately, not unfortunately, maybe just it is as it is, that I'm just not in a place where I can say, all right, family, let's get up and go somewhere for the holidays. Instead, I feel like we're doing these little, we're making little increments where, you know what, this year I, I can afford to go to buy whatever, extra food or fun treats um, you know, a game for us to share, um, to spend the holidays together, doing stuff together. Um, I'm really hoping that, you know, it, ideally it would be really, really nice if at some point it evolves to us being able to do an event together, to go somewhere together, even if it's for a day, if it's for overnight, it's, it's, but anyway, for now we're going to pretend that we're we're, we're locked in a cabin somewhere. We live in the country. It's almost like that. Um, anyway, let me know what your Christmas traditions are and what you hope your Christmas or holiday traditions would be or would evolve into. And, you know, maybe we can all brainstorm together how to, how to make those things happen so that you can find, find the joy in the holiday because that's what I'm all about this year, I think. Let's find the joy in it. Oh, it's sweaty in here. Can you hear the birds outside? I don't know if you can hear them. There's birds outside my window. December 1st. 